Welcome back to Top Foreign Parents. On today's topic, I'd like to talk about the difference between a vehicle speed sensor and a transmission speed sensor. The difference between a vehicle speed sensor and a transmission speed sensor is due to its location. The transmission speed sensor consists of the input shaft speed sensor and the output shaft speed sensor. The input shaft speed sensor is mounted in the input shaft location and the output shaft speed sensor is mounted on the output shaft location. And the vehicle speed sensor could be mounted anywhere on the transmission or on the transaxle. The vehicle speed sensor monitors the speed of the vehicle and the information is sent to the engine control module. The engine control module will use this information to send information to the speedometer where it will tell you how fast you are going. Now the input shaft speed sensor is used to monitor the speed of the input shaft and the output shaft speed sensor is used to monitor the speed of the output shaft. Together, the information is sent to the transmission control module and the transmission control module will use the information to calculate gear ratio. What happens when the vehicle speed sensor fell? Well, a few things are going to happen. Number one is the check engine light is going to turn on and you're going to get codes. You're going to get codes for P0500, P0501, P0502, P0503, and so on. Now, if the vehicle speed sensor fell, it's definitely going to affect the speedometer. The speedometer may show inaccurate speed or it may show no speed at all. Now, what caused the vehicle speed sensor to fail? Well, a few things can cause it to fail. For example, you could either have a connection issue, you could have a wire issue, the uh, spleen on the Vehicle speed sensor is probably missing or damaged and so on. Of course, there's a lot of different types of vehicle speed sensor. You have the magnetic speed sensor, you have the Hall effect speed sensor, and this one happened to be old school, and this one uses a gear. So what happened when the transmission speed sensor is failing? Well, you're going to get codes. You're going to get codes for P0715 to P0723. These are going to be codes for bad input shaft speed sensor, or bad output shaft speed sensor. So when the transmission speed sensor is failing, it's going to affect the transmission. You're going to notice hard shift, no shift, delay shifting, and so on. And when the vehicle speed sensor starts to fail, again, this is going to affect the speedometer reading. In addition, the difference between a transmission speed sensor and a vehicle speed sensor is that when a transmission speed sensor fail, your vehicle may be set into limp mode. Limp mode is a safety feature that limits your vehicle speed to 35 miles per hour and will be stuck in second gear. Whereas when a vehicle speed sensor fail, your vehicle may not be set into limp mode and your vehicle speed may not be limited. Now if you notice you're having cruise control issue, you might want to spec the vehicle speed sensor or the output shaft speed sensor. I hope you found this video useful. As I thank you for watching, subscribe to Top 500 Repairs.